here. Uh, so basically, I'm going to use both of these models, but basically, you have very limited range of motion on the left rotation, left lateral reflection. And I believe that you have some arthritic changes that are going on there, which is, like I said, I think the MRI and or x-ray are going to prove some value to me to, sh to help me help you. Um, at this point in time, I, there's a positive notes too. Um, so, so we'll go over some of the, the, the positives first. I think the positive is that there is no numbness and tingling into the hands. I tested you for that. I don't think, at least if you ask me personally, I don't think there's spinal stenosis at this point. You know what I mean? So if, if, and if I speak words like you don't understand, just I'm, let me know. I'm with you. Um, so I, the reason I, I can say that confidently is because you've had that, like you said, three months ago. It went down. We know that we have, if we have an irritated nerve root, we can have irritation going all the way down into the arm where you see numbness and tingling going down all the way this, whoop, all the way this direction, either way on either side. Remember that test that I did on you where I was doing this and I was doing this and I was doing that and I was like, you're okay with this? You're like, you need, you need fit, get fit. Yeah. What I was doing really is taking the nerve and I'm pulling it down all the way through the arm and through the sheath that go, it goes through all the way at its source. If that pisses it off, that tells me, one, you have enough nerve tension, or two, um, that you're, you're getting it potentially entrapped within this area or up here. It doesn't really tell me specifically yet, but I didn't have to go into the specifics because it didn't happen, okay. right? Uh, if it did happen, I would go down another rabbit hole further testing with that. I didn't have to. Okay. So basically what I'm saying is, this is negative, we don't need to keep going. Like, just like in your... Uh, maybe your examinations of patients, once something's negative, it's, there's right. no way it's going to be positive after right. that. So I don't have to go into that yet. Does that mean it won't ever happen? No. But at this point in time, I don't, I don't see anything. I tested both sides, by the way. Um, but I know that, like, I think what you're having is an old disc herniation, disc bulge coming back. I don't think it's a herniation. I think it's just a little bit of compression that's causing enough irritation. And I think that you have some arth arthritic changes going on around this spinal joint around these areas that so when you do move the facet joints or you do move this area it's it's kind of like the body is just kind of like before we hit that nerve i'm just gonna i'm gonna seize up now since somebody's gonna say well what about the shoulder blade pain Don't about that um what about the shoulder blade pain uh why is that causing a lot of pain well i think a lot of these issues that we see in the shoulder blade pain is the dorsal scapular nerve irritation that comes as a direct branch off the C5 uh, nerve route. Let me inter interrupt you for one second. I would assume, I know, I would assume after like three months of this and taking ibuprofen, anti-inflammatory, I've taken naproxen, yeah. uh, ibuprofen, it still hasn't got better after three months. I Like to me, I would think after three months of just anti-inflammatories, it would like, things would get better, no? Mm -hmm. But they haven't. But I also think that you haven't like lubricated the joints with movement. And I don't think it's like, listen, and I'm not saying that I'm entirely no, no, right no. or anything, because maybe this is a surgical case. Maybe we do need to go in there and shave down a bone. But I also think that somebody hasn't given you any exercise at any point in time, which is, I think, absurd. Like, how can we get any of this stuff moving or stronger if we don't do that? Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I, that's just my thought on there. I do think that you you do present a valid point and like, you know, if it's, if you've been kind of chilling out for three months, right. why isn't it even settled down a little bit? Right. Uh, but also there, there has, maybe there has been adequate treatment. And I know we talked about acupuncture treatment, but, but if they're throwing Hail Marys, like how specific are there, are they being? I, I, I don't know, but I'm going to go with this, this, like I said, this theory that it's this and these issues. And what we need to do is restore some of that gentle movement. I think adjusting you aggressively is going to be the wrong answer. No, I was honest. hoping that was going to be the right answer. Like I, snap, 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 and I feel better. No, I don't think that. I think it's going to be the wrong answer because I think it's, it has the capacity to take these close joints and really, really murky the water and irritate them. Super. Uh, but, I, but I'm going to do a lot of mobilizations to the area because like when I was laying you on your back, like that whole left side just didn't move very easily in each vertebra. 
Okay. Uh, especially looking to the left. And then some, I tested you for what they call thoracic outlet syndrome, where the thoracic outlet is basically this little triangle within the, the thoracic area. Uh, and, and sometimes the blo- nerves and the blood vessels and the muscles with the scalenes get kind of occluded. They can occlude that nerve. So when you go this way, the posterior scalene can get affected. The middle scalene, when you take that deep breath in, it elevates the, the, the rib and kind of causes less movement there. I put your arm in this position. Nothing seemed right. to irritate anything through yeah. this direction. Anything you did, nothing hurt. So Which is great. Right. However, it goes back to the common theory. The only thing that did hurt was neck movement. So I think it's still neck for you. Okay. Uh, you know, I think we really just need to kind of work a lot of the neck. Get some decompression. I do need to 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 make sure that you're not getting worse, um, but I do think we need to give you some exercise, and I'm going to give you some stuff that I think will help you, and we'll we'll go through uh, before you you okay. head out of here. Is we're going to go through some of the stuff exactly with you one on one. So you one know how it feels, knows what to do, um, and we know that, and and you know a certain amount of guidelines to stop the pain in its tracks, or if it does come on, you know exactly what to do to stop it. Okay. Uh, Do you have any questions for me? No.